Good afternoon. Today is Tuesday, November 3rd. Now over to Jenna with some more announcements. The quote of the day today is, Every election is determined by the people who show up, by Larry J. Sabato. Lunch for today is a main meal of cheeseburger on whole grain roll or PB&J Uncrustable. Lunch for tomorrow is a main meal of buffalo chicken bites or ham and cheese on whole grain roll. Now over to your weather report. Welcome back, CD. My name is and I'm your weather guy for today. Currently, it is 40 degrees Fahrenheit. It's clear outside. There's a lot of sun. We have a high of 54 degrees and a low of 36 degrees. With slight wind chill, and there's no chance of precipitation throughout the day. It does get a little bit warmer, but not too much throughout the day. Anyway, that's all I have for today. So now over to headline news. Voting in the U.S. has never been easy. But over the years, more and more U.S. states have tried to make things easier by allowing voting by mail. And the share of voters casting their ballots by post has risen steadily in recent elections. So, how will voting by mail impact this election? Due to the global pandemic, records could be set. But how easy it is to do so very much depends on where you live. 10 states automatically send ballots to their residents. 35 other states have rules where voters need to ask for a postal ballot. But these five states only allow voting by mail if you have a valid excuse for not being able to get to the polls in person. And no, COVID-19 does not count. Voting by mail has largely been uncontroversial until this year. This is going to be the scam of all time. There is no, no concern for mail-in ballots. Democrats have largely requested more absentee ballots than Republicans. In Florida alone, 800,000 more requests were filed by Democrats so far. So what might this all mean for the election result itself? First and foremost, voting by mail is more complicated, and many will do it for the first time. In 2016, 318,000 mail ballots were rejected, a number that could exceed 1 million this year. And with so many more Democrats voting by mail, Republican lawyers are set to challenge the validity of mail ballots in every swing state. Hopefully the federal judges, all respected, all highly respected, hopefully they'll be able to see this clearly and stop it. Currently, there are 320 lawsuits in 44 states over the 2020 election. With so many votes coming in via mail, election night will look somewhat different this year. Election night is nowhere near the official results. The rules vary. Some states start processing and counting votes before election day. But in the crucial battleground states of Wisconsin and Pennsylvania, they wait until election day. The challenging part's gonna be dealing with, you know, counting them as quickly as we can. Getting a final result from these states could therefore take a while. I could be leading and then they'll just keep getting ballots and ballots and ballots and ballots because now they're saying that the ballots can come in late. Well, what does that mean? It means it will take longer than usual to count all the votes. And election night could turn into election week. SATs are on November 7th. If you are registered to take them on November 7th, please be here at CV High School by 7.30 a.m. 
Remember your mask, photo ID, and SAT admissions ticket. Leave your phone at home or in a safe place in your car and bring your own calculator, pencils, and erasers. Please know if you are showing any symptoms of COVID-19 or have been in close contact with a person with COVID-19, you will not be admitted. It is recommended that you stay home if you have symptoms or if you have been in close contact with someone with COVID-19 and contact SAT to reschedule your testing for a future date. Attention CVH students. Today is election day. Most of you are too young to vote, but CVHS is holding a mock presidential election today. Please check your email or your class school G page for a link to the 2020 CVHS mock presidential election Google form. Voting will be open until 8 p.m. tonight, just like the real polling pl takes place in PA. Remember that you must be logged into your CV Google account to have access to the form. Please contact Mr. Holmes in the Social Studies hallway if you have any questions. Attention juniors and seniors, if you would like to be an anchor on the CV Today show sometime during this school year, please stop by the TV studio room 153 at some point before the end of the week to sign up. All anchors must sign up as a pair of students and both must be juniors or seniors during the 2020-2021 school year. Attention seniors, do you want your senior quote in the yearbook? This week you will receive an email with a Google form attached to it about your senior superlatives and quotes. You must fill it out before November 24th. Thank you. <laughs> a reminder to all Mu Alpha Theta Math Honor Society members, you need to check your announcement section of your Schoology page daily. That means every day. Sometimes an important new announcement will be posted. Like right now, there's a competition coming on Friday and the participation requires permission slip. If you do not participate in our activities and competitions, you will forfeit your membership. Now over to CV Sports. Attention with winter athletes, sports, physicals, and research are due Thursday, November 12th. You need a full physical if you haven't had one since last school year. You need a research if you had a sports physical between June 1st and October 9th. Pick up and return forms on the cart across from the main office. See Ms. Hess if you have any questions. Any young man gr in grades 10 through 12 interested in being part of this season's high school boys wrestling team needs to see Coach Turner for information on paperwork to get started. Coach Turner can usually be found in and around the Ueda Gymnasium during the school day. Wrestling is a sport for all sizes with 13 individual weight classes ranging from 106 pounds to 285 pounds. Join the those already committed to a covenant of brotherhood, hard work, heart, and respect. Attention all ninth graders interested in wrestling on the junior high team. Our first team meeting will be after school on Wednesday, November 4th at the Inuita gym. Please see Mr. Hershey in room 104 for more information. There are no sports for today. Go home and do your homework. Now our sports highlights. First down, so off the fake, looking, and can't avoid the sack. Vinnie Curry is able to knock him down. Chris Jones, the punter to hold it. And Zerline's kick is good. And here is Boston Scott in the absence of Miles Sanders, and Scott, who was the big hero in that Giants game, from the 44-yard line. Make the Scott look out, and Wentz will go down. That's Demarcus Lawrence. <laughs> Running back is Huntley, the fake to him. He stays in the block. Wentz has time. Wentz looking, keeps his eyes down. Field, and he's going to go down again. And that's Donovan Wilson with the ball coming loose. And Dallas has it. We were looking at it at that point. Turned out to win the game. Wentz now throws. That's going to be caught. And. Does he break the plane, Rager? Yes, he does. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Um, try to get on the board toward the end of the half here. Wentz 
Keeps his eyes downfield, throws into the end zone into double coverage, and that will be taken. The result of the play is so. an interception by the defense for a touchback. First down, oh, down. That's the guy that's such a big factor right here. And that pass long to the end zone and hold in by Fulgham. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Caught that huge touchdown pass on Sunday night in San Francisco to get this team rolling. Which throws and that will be hauled in. The blitz here they come again and look out and down he goes. Ball is out again. And the Eagles on what appears to be a live ball. McLeod is going to take it all the way to the end zone. Well, meanwhile, they're going to go for two now. And this is Jalen. It's fourth down and eight, and Wentz is going to throw, and that's going to be broken up. Okay. That's all the announcements we have for you today. On behalf of WCVH, I'm Kate. Alongside Chris. And this is CB Today. Have, have a time, time to vote Tuesday. Tuesday. All of my friends said, don't worry, I promise to be fine. But now I'm alone and I'm lost in my phone with this free time. I used to spend it with you All of this stuff we used to do Now that you're tied up I'm tired of all of this free time oh, oh.